my name is Candice, aka Picasso Baby, and today I'm going to be showing you how to create your very own Pride Month painting. If you are new here, welcome. If you've been here before, thank you so much for stopping back by the paint with me today. So as you all know, it is June. And it is a month full of celebrations. And first up on the list is Pride. So today I'm going to be showing you how to create your very own Pride Month painting. It's perfect and simple for any Pride celebration with your friends, family, or loved ones. Or just something simple that you can create to display some Pride decorations so that you're celebrating the month correctly. Um, so... Before we get started, as always, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe and turn on those post notifications so that you do not miss the next tutorial. As always, I am going to be working with a 16 by 20 inch canvas. Um, again, you can use the canvas size of your choice. It's completely up to you. A few other things you want to make sure that you have today. You want to make sure that you have a ruler or just something with a straight edge like a book piece of paper magazine because we're going to be measuring out some lines on our canvas and then I am working with a green sharpie today so you want to make sure you have like a lighter color sharpie or a pencil to create the lines and then we're going to still use a regular black sharpie to create our other details also as always, make sure that you have some different size acrylic brushes. You want to make sure you have some napkins to dry your brushes off on in a cup with cold water. And then I am working with acrylic paint. I'm using the colors Burnt Sienna, Mars Black, Phthalo Blue, Bright Red, Titanium White, and Chrome Yellow. And as always, all of these um, items are listed in the description. One thing you want to also make sure that you have today, I do have an extra plate because I'm going to be doing some mixing. So you want to make sure you have an extra plate or palette because we're going to be mixing a few different colors. So let's go ahead and get started. So what I'm going to be starting with today, I'm going to start by drawing out um, some stripes or some lines on my canvas because I am going to be creating the pride flag in my background. Now, originally, um, the flag only had a few colors, very similar to the rainbow, um, but now it is very much more inclusive and has a few different extra colors added to it for um, the LGBTQ plus pride. So today I'm going to be showing you how to add those colors in. So I'm going to be working with 12 different stripes. You can do as many or as few as you'd like and um, to those that are a part of the community allies of the community if there are any colors that you would like to add from a different flag or anything extra you definitely can you want to really make sure that you make this your own and representative of you or the people that you love so again I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna add those 12 lines and I'm gonna be just using my ruler and I'm gonna try to you know space them out evenly if you want to go through and mark off 12 lines to begin with you definitely can i am just going to go in and start to make my lines going across Right, so now that I have all of my lines going across, I want to go in and I'm going to add some extra details on before I start to paint. But this time I'm going to be adding it in with my black marker. So um, because this is um, Pride Month and we are celebrating everyone being able to love who they love and love who they choose, I want to make this centered around the Pride flag and also love. So we're going to be creating a heart in the middle first. And again, I'm working with my black Sharpie now. So I'm just creating a heart in the center first. And it doesn't have to be perfect. And from that heart, I'm going to create two hands. So the first thing I want to do, I want to create a line going up. I'm going to curve it. Add an edge there, 
and I'm gonna take it down and off the canvas. I'm gonna do the same thing underneath here, but I'm gonna actually curve, make a curve there, curve back up. And I'm gonna repeat that step over here. The only thing, um, so everything over here is pretty much gonna be uh, the exact same as this. If you want it to be like a bigger or a smaller hand, remember if you're making this a bit more personal, you can create it however you like. I'm gonna make them pretty much equal. So I'm just pulling the line up at an angle there, back down, and then off of the canvas there. Same thing here, make that little curve, go up, and then down that way. Now, once you have that, we're gonna go in and get it a little bit more detail. So we pretty much already have the shape of the thumb at the bottom there, but I do wanna create more of a finger on that curve there. Same thing over here, I'm creating more of a little finger there. And then I'm also gonna split this into two fingers. So I'm gonna come right where this line is. Instead of just letting it be one line in the middle, I'm gonna come through and kind of create another curve there. I'm going to do the same thing here, create another bit of a curve there. And now if you want to go through and like create like more realistic bumps, like for example, how we have like a little bump at the top of our wrist or even how there's a little bit of curve at the back of the hand there. And again, those things are optional. It just helps it look a little more like actual hands but once you have that drawn out the hard part is over it is time to get to painting so what i'm going to be doing first i am going to be painting my stripes in first of course and i want to actually use a bit of a flatter wide brush now if you don't have a wider brush like this as long as you have a flat brush that's fine if you have to use um a more of a rounded brush then you just want to be really careful so that your lines are pretty precise or again if you have a flatter small brush or a flatter wider brush I suggest the wider brush or the smaller brush as long as they're flat but if you only have a round just be really careful um, creating your lines so remember we are going in and adding all of the colors of the LGBTQ plus pride flag so I'm going to start from the top and work my way down remember if you are doing different colors um, it's completely up to you what colors you put on there to represent yourself or your your loved ones um, that you are painting for today so I'm gonna go in first and my first layer even though the canvas is already white I'm gonna go in and paint it white again and this brush is about um, three-fourths this is about three-fourths of an inch so it really helps because each line is about three-fourths so honestly all I have to do is kind of just flatten it out to create the space for each one to get each one painted so if you can if you have one of these brushes it will work perfectly a three um three-fourths brush if not you just want to make sure that you're being really careful to get each line pretty precise now the next color i'm going to go into i'm going to get into some um white and i'm mixing this up on my second plate i'm mixing up white and a very very small amount of red so that i can get a really nice light pink and you don't need a lot of this of these colors that we're making because um, again you're only covering about um, three-fourths of space or smaller maybe even bigger depending on your canvas size so you want to kind of guesstimate the amount of paint you'll need for your canvas size but my second color is going to be this beautiful light pink and remember I am just slowly guiding this on all right now now that i have that color on my second color is going to be um, a lighter blue so i am going to wash my brush off really good and now i want to mix up some white and a very very small amount of that phthalo blue onto this plate here so i'm getting some white 
a little bit of flavor. But... And once you have your blue, and you want to make sure you mix that really good. Once you have your blue, you're going to go in for your third stripe. Right, so we have our third color in. So the next color is going to be um, a bit of a darker brown. And although we do already have the burnt sienna, it's not quite dark enough. If you have a darker brown already, if you're already working with a darker brown, then you're fine. But if you are using burnt sienna, take a little bit of your burnt sienna, a little bit of black, and mix those together just to get a little bit of a darker brown doesn't have to be super dark because we are going to be putting black next to it so once you have that mixed in really really well we're going to go in for that fourth stripe now as we're painting this when you start to get closer to the hands you want to make sure that you're pretty much just skipping over um, or trying to paint around the hands. You don't want to paint through them or get anything inside. If you do get anything inside of it, just let it dry for a second. But you want to do your best to just kind of paint right around the hands. All right, so we got our brown one there. Now, the next color is black. But we don't want to do the black just yet because I don't want it to smear with any of the other paint. So I am going to skip down and I'm going to go into my red. So instead of going to the fifth row, I'm going to go down to six. And I'm just going in with just my bright red. And you see I'm kind of going just like right next to the hand. If you get something inside of it, don't worry. But try not to paint like completely through it. You want to just try to get like right next to it. Same thing on the other side. All right, so we have that beautiful red on there now. So the next color is going to be orange. So I'm not going to wash my brush. I'm actually just going to pick up some yellow and kind of start to mix it on my second plate. So because I already had all of that red in my brush, I don't need to add any more red. I'm just picking up yellow and mixing it out onto my plate. And now I'm gonna go right under my orange and get this thing filled in. Now the colors um, will go through like the middle and you'll see when I do this with the orange so you want to skip over the hands, but make sure you put it in the middle of the heart. Now, one thing I'm going to do um, on this hand, that hand is a little higher up. So a little bit of the red is showing, so I'm going to go back. And if you need to switch to a smaller brush when you get towards the inside, you definitely can. But the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go in to my yellow. So, you want to make sure to wash all of that orange out. I'm going to do some yellow right across the middle here. Now, on this side... Um, the hand is pretty much covering some of those uh, colors, but on this side, there is a little piece of the yellow stripe showing, so I'm gonna make sure to get that filled in. Now, my next color is green, so I am going to mix up some yellow and a little bit of blue. Remember, the more blue you use, the darker your green will be, so if you're going for a bit of a darker green, you definitely can add a little more blue but once you get the shade that you want all you're gonna do is fill in your next stripe
Now, my next color is blue. I don't want it to be the same as the blue I have up there, but I also don't want it to be super dark, so I still am going to add a little bit of white to it, just not as much as I did the first time. So I'm just going to kind of mix some blue back into that spot that I already had, add a little bit of white to it. I mean, it's starting to look too much like the same shade, just add a little bit more blue. And once you get the shade you want, you're going to paint your next stripe. All right, so the very last color, um, actually, let's see, let's make sure we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, two, nine. Okay, I thought it were 12. It's actually just 11. Um, so I do have two stripes left, but I'm just going to cover them both with purple. So um, for the very last color, again, I am using purple. So I'm going to take some red with my blue that I already have there. And remember, the more um, blue you add, the darker your purple will be. The more red you add, the more vibrant it will be. And if you want to lighten it a bit, you can not add white, but it's not super light on the flag. So I want to kind of try to make it as accurate as possible. Once you have it mixed up, I'm going to go ahead and get that added on. And remember, I'm covering the last two lines that I have because I only need 11 stripes, not 12. All right, now once you have all of your stripes filled in, um, what I'm going to actually do, I'm going to go back because I want to make sure that these colors are bright and bold and vibrant. So I'm going to go back in anywhere where I feel like there needs to be um, a little more uh, or another coat of the color on it. I'm going to go back over each coat and I'm going to start from the top and work my way back down to the bottom. Now, again, we did leave the black stripe open. Don't worry about that stripe just yet. We're still going to leave that one open, um, but we're going to go back through and cover up anywhere where we feel like it's too sheer or not vibrant and popping enough. We're going to go back over it with some more color. All right, now once you have all of those colors on there, um, and again, we went over it with that second layer just so that they stand out really bold and brightly. What I'm going to do is I am going to go in and actually fill in the hands and the stripe. And I'm filling them both in with black because I just want it to be a silhouette of two hands um, creating a heart, creating love. If you would like it to actually be um, a skin tone, you can use the skin tone of your choice. I do suggest adding in the skin tone before you do the black stripe. That way you can do the black stripe and outline both of your hands. Um, now... 
if you choose to do the skin tone, you can use the brown. You can mix it with different colors to make the shade of your choice. But like I said, I am actually going to go in with um, black. And I'm going to switch to a smaller flat brush. And again, I am using black to get both hands completely filled in. I'm also using black to get the stripe filled in. All right, now, now that I have um, my hands and my stripe filled in, I am going to give this a second to dry so that I can go over it with a second layer of black as well, just so that it is one, um, one shade of black. There's no streaks or anything anywhere. And we're going to add a few more details to really bring those hands out. So during the break, uh, make sure that you give it about five to 10 minutes to dry. If you don't want to give it a break, you can always grab a blow dryer and dry it on the cool setting. But if you are taking a break, make sure you step away for a second. Grab the drink of your choice. If you're 21 and up, grab yourself a beverage. We're celebrating. It's a month of celebration. Get yourself some pride punch, okay? Uh, but we're just going to take that break and then we'll start back on the next steps in a few. One eternity later. All right, so now that we've given this some time to dry, I am going to go back in really quickly only on all of the black parts. So again, we want to make sure that these colors are bright and bold. So I am going back in to cover up like any streaks anywhere or anywhere where the paint was not even. And I'm just going right back in with black using my smaller flat brush. You can use whatever brush you're comfortable with. Now, if you didn't do the silhouette look and you did like the actual skin tone, like maybe you mixed up some different browns um, or different skin tone colors, you can go back over it with your skin tone color just to make sure that it is nice and even. Um, or if you feel like you don't need to go back over it, you definitely can skip this step. But one thing I do suggest is that if you did do the skin tone color, I suggest going in with a black outline around your hands. If you did the silhouette like I did, I'm going to show you how to um, add some more details to the hands in just a few. But if you did the skin tone color for your hands, you want to outline with black. So now that I have all of this filled in, I've gone in with my extra layers. Um, if once you're done with the silhouette, if you like it as is, you can leave it as is. But what I'm gonna do, I want to go in and add just a little bit more detail. So in the middle where we had the hands um, kind of divided before, you see how you can see the difference between the two fingers. I'm gonna go back in and kind of pull a little line up. I'm not gonna go too far up. And then on this side, I'm gonna come from the side, and I'm just doing these lines really quickly with a smaller brush little bit of white paint and I'm gonna kind of go up and down here just to give it again outline that hand I'm gonna divide the fingers as well let's add a little outline around the inside of the hand around the thumb just to give it some extra detail, right? Give it that pop so it stands out. I'm gonna do the same thing here. And all the lines do not have to be exact, um, but you do wanna make sure that you kinda get the outside, especially the part where it goes up into the black stripe. You wanna make sure you outline that so that you can see the difference between the stripe and the hand. Now, once you have it either um, with the detail lines with the white or outlined in the black, the last thing you wanna make sure to do is you want to make sure to add your signature. If you would like any extra details, for example, if you wanna write pride across the top or anywhere on here or love, whatever you wanna um, write to really make this your own, you definitely can. But the most important step is just signing your name 
I'm doing my initials right in the corner, but you can sign yours however you like. And once you have signed it, you are all done with your very own Pride Month painting. Thank you all so, so much for painting with me today and celebrating love and the rights of every human being. Um, so I hope you all enjoyed this painting and that you have taken pride in creating such a beautiful piece and that you enjoy this month and celebrate with love all month long. And as always, make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe and leave any suggestions in the comments below and make sure you turn on those post notifications and I'll see you in the next tutorial.